to Florida Adventures with Aaliyah. I am starting to vlog the next couple days because the next three days I'll be spending in the South Florida area and you guys will be coming and seeing what I'm doing for 72 hours straight in Florida because I was like, oh my gosh, you're gonna be here for two weeks. You might as well get a little vloggy vlog out of it. And it's the weekend. I'm trying to be out and doing something. I don't know about y'all. But when I travel, I'm trying to be out and doing something. The one time I did travel and went on vacation and I didn't go anywhere was in Jamaica because I was trying to relax that trip. But today, we going out. Before we get any further into Aaliyah's Miami Adventures for this year, I'm going to teach you how I like to keep my bikini line straight for the summer. This portion of this video is sponsored by EOS and that's a crazy way to get into a sponsored portion of a video. But it's for good reason, I promise. I've been doing girl talks for years and years and years. If you know, you know, I'm not new to this because I'm true to this. Ever since I was an early teenager and just mid-teen up until my 20s now, I have been so, so, so keen on keeping my bikini area straight, taken care of as much as possible, and that includes hair removal. Now, y'all know I've partaken in other hair removal methods such as laser. Hair does not disappear overnight, okay? And while you're in between stuff like that or you're just interested in shaving, you need to take care of it as much as possible. It's already sensitive. You don't need to tear it up if you don't have to, okay? For me personally, my shave routine for the summer is so, so so easy all i personally use is the eos shea better 24 hour moisture shaving cream now you guys know i've been riding with eos forever and ever and ever they have some of the best shaving creams that i've ever used in my life but this is so far my favorite you can use it in any other part of your body i can't show you how i shave my bikini line for youtube community guidelines and this is still sponsored i personally love this shaving cream because it's so moisturizing it's gyno approved for not just the bikini line but the entire bikini area because it is so sensitive you know how important that is it has so many amazing ingredients in it that keeps things protected moisturized and smoothed out so it prevents things such as razor burn and the gag of it all the whole thing I, the what really gets me baby we in a recession okay we're having financial things inflation is happening right in front of our eyes okay apartments are three grand for a studio and cars are a thousand a month on a car note what i personally love about this is that a little goes a long way okay y'all know i love taking care of myself but i love saving money more i kid you not i take about one pump maybe even half a pump and it gets my entire bikini area and for reference my other areas of my body i usually take about one pump for both my armpits not one pump one pump one pump for both and about two pumps for my legs and that's even overkill okay shaving is a personal choice for everybody i personally love to do it just because that's just what i feel most comfortable with and whatever you're most comfortable with you should totally do but if you do shave and are interested in that get you some eos Okay, like this, this is that girl. Love her from infinity to infinity. I don't know how I forgot to say this, but I'm gonna say it real quick. They have three different smells. Okay, whether you're a vanilla girly, a lavender girly, or even a fruity pomegranate and raspberry girly, they, they have something for you. They have everything. Personally, y'all didn't ask for this, but I'll tell you one of my favorite scent combos. If you get this and shave like in the morning, and then you take that EOS 24 hour moisture vanilla cashmere lotion thank me later people will be all over you it's not my fault you're about to have everybody on you if you're interested in celebrating hashtag smooth hoo-ha season make sure you check out eos shea better 24 hour shaving cream let me know your personal shaving tips because oh my gosh without this shave cream i'll be nothing I'm currently in Julia's and Henry's. I had to bust out my other mic because it's so loud in here. I'm currently eating at this taco place. I'm not sure the name, but I'm excited. I got an order of carne asada tacos. This is my first like real meal for the day. I'm looking forward to it. I'm sorry it's so yellow. Maybe I'll fix it in color correcting, but I try to fix it with the lighting and everything, but it's just not. I'm sitting right under the lights. Okay, like I can only do so much. My uncle's here, my dad's here, my cousin's here. But two of my cousins are here, Brian and Liam, but Liam's under age, so he will not be seeing him. Yeah, we're just having a fun little mini family day out. This is our first stop of the day for lunch, and I think we're going to South Beach after this for like the first time in a very, very, very long time. I haven't been to South Beach in like over 10 years. If you aren't like on Miami TikTok or anything like that, you might not know what Julius and Henry's is, but it's basically like a three-story food court with a bunch of food vendors and everything in there. It's pretty cool. Right here. Thank you so much. I got my taco. Just, I just got my food. I'm using my new Canon camera today. My food, she looks fantastic. All right, I'm gonna take my first bite. That's a banger right there. <laughs> this is so good. I'm giving y'all an update because we just got Oh, it is this garage because of the pink. Huh? I'm... <laughs> it was close. You giddy about... Oh, I should just park 
back here. I'm giving y'all an update because we have just arrived to the design district. If you don't know what this is, you've probably never been to Miami before because anybody who's been here knows exactly what this is and where it's at. You know what we're here for. I'm not gonna play games. We're here to, you know, but yeah. I feel like it took us 40 days and 40 nights to get here because all the construction on the highway, but we made it. Um, we went to the kids store. I cannot record in any of these stores, so don't expect to have any footage from them. They made this place to be pretty and take pictures. I mean, like, why is there swings in the middle of the walkway? We can snap it up for you. We're walking over to Babe right now. That's personally one of my favorite designers. We went off-white. I didn't really see anything. I got stuff from kids. And of course, I'm probably gonna leave something from Babe. What can I say? Yeah. Montclair, right, you want a Montclair puffer? I'm leaving it with him. <laughs> I do want a cute pair of sunglasses. Besides my off-white, maybe like a black pair, something like that, but yeah. We're walking out. It's not that hot today, or yet. It's still kind of early. It's like 12 o'clock, somewhere around there. Um, oh, I look greasy. Or sweaty. Probably both. I got ice on. I'll tell with oat milk. Y'all know how I get down. She got the same thing, but with extra vanilla. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, eight. Mm, yeah, I give it like what was it? Twelve bucks for both of these? Mm -hmm. That's not bad. At all. With oat milk, you gotta sell your soul to get oat milk anywhere else. We went to the babe store. I saw a collection I liked. I was like, okay, I'm gonna sit on this and wait. Why well, walk away from the babe store? I'm like, okay, well maybe I do want to get it. They also have a gal. They didn't have this last time we were here, did they? No, they just got that, that. had to open. They have a galley department store here, and I've been meaning. I mean, meaning and feeling to go into that store because their stuff is so cute. But the resale on it is so. Bad. So if you can't get it in the store or when they drop, there's no point in getting it. So <laughs> with hot spots. Why we have to live on the parking deck and this shit not open there? What? <laughs> no, just use the stairs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're in Winwood. There's a lot of art here, giving art ho to the highest degree. and then pan fried dumplings. We're at this place called 1-800-LUCKY. Listen, one thing about my cousin, she gonna eat some Asian food. So as soon as I said, what's for lunch, and she jumped on 1-800-LUCKY, I was like, oh, here she go, y'all. Anyway, it's gonna be an Asian spot. She's like, <laughs> um, so we're at this place. So far, it's cute. Inside is mad dark, but you know, I love a little dark moment. Especially on the inside if it's vibing. But we're sitting on the outside. I don't know how good the audio is on this thing because there's a big ass fan right behind me. It's hot, but this is like tolerable warm up under this thing. They have indoor and outdoor seating. Cute. I will say the location's a little weird because it looks like we're right next to a power plant. But we move. What you get to eat? Bao bun. <laughs> I was gonna get ramen, but I was like, it's hot. Yeah, like if I'm gonna get ramen, I need to be sitting like inside, AC on 68, 69, or at least like in the car where it's brick. But Winwood is like the foodie area. Brickles and design district is like shopping. So if you're looking for a quick bite to eat or a club to go to, go ahead and come to Winwood. This drink menu is kind of cheap. It looks pretty good though. I'm driving, so I won't be partaking in that. But let me just say, over in the design district, we did some irreversible damage because they don't accept returns, exchanges, or nothing. We went to in order. Kid, off white, babe. Then we went to babe again. Gallery department. I didn't really like the stuff that they had in there, and I'm not about to get something I don't really like, especially if it's that much money. We went to a lot of places in like two hours. These almost taste like sweet. We got the steamed and pan fried dumplings. These are the steam right here. I didn't realize I was hungry until we sat down. These are like perfect. No, I definitely recommend because for a full meal for about one person, it's about what, 20 bucks, $25 to eat like and get full. It's probably like 25 $20, not including alcohol. Including alcohol is probably gonna shoot up to like 40, 45, but that's with all alcoholic drinks. All I know is that it came in a little rice tin and I like it. You know you wanna kiss me. <laughs> I think we should watch Pretty Little Liars tonight. <laughs>
So we're currently here at South Fort Lauderdale Beach and today I decided to start my day here in looking at the sunrise. I realized I've never seen the sunrise like in person on a beach and I was like, child, let me get out here. So I woke up at like 4.30, 5am and decided to haul ass over here. And now I'm enjoying one of my favorite parts of the day. I love seeing the sunset and rise. It's probably some of my favorite times of the day. And honestly, overall, super relaxing and a great way to wake you up start your day you need to get away from the chaos of miami definitely recommend either waking up early to see the sunrise and start your day or driving up 30 minutes to fort lauderdale beach to get it started yeah that water is deep like you see where the wave curls is when it drops off like it's Today we're taking on Fort Lauderdale. Wow, Fort Lauderdale isn't very much like, ooh, I'm outside. It's like, let me eat, relax, and stare. I don't know many shops in Fort Lauderdale. All I know is that there's a lot of food and there's the beach right there. And that's pretty much all you really do here. So if you're looking to relax for some and you want to get up out of the outside behavior, drive like 30 minutes north and you're going to be in Fort Lauderdale from Miami. But we're starting the day with this place called the Alchemist. And we've been here before. I'm not gonna sit up here and lie. I've been here before, but it's a lot better than I remember visually. So it's probably like my favorite coffee shop here in South Florida that I've been to. Cause I've been to like other ones, but they're just like, okay. But with like aesthetics, 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 pricing, the people here are really nice and just how it looks visually. And it feels like very calm. It's definitely one of my favorites. Um, so we stop for a quick little something, little pick me up. My head's starting to hurt because I haven't had caffeine today. We're sitting outside because it's not too hot yet. Thank you. Coffee's here. I've never had a latte this latte. I've never had a latte this dark in color mine are usually like pasty like they have the little whatchamacallit cubes in here so if it gets hot it's not watered down you know i love a mason jar and our straws are good these aren't regular plastic straws or like the ones that get soggy i hate those so bad <laughs> it's strong and like coffee taste yeah she's bold it's really strong <laughs> oh you not girl I was i was i was the woman was too stunned to speak i was about to take a cute little oh. shot of the food in this just reached over and took the whole damn croissant out the thing. Girl, don't, don't put that back in there with your big ass bite mark. Okay, our croissants are here. What's that? Let me let me clip. That's what I'm about. Notice how this straw is still holding up. Mm-hmm. Y'all need to take notes. What is it, compostable? Yeah. This was so flaky, it was real good. I always love when coffee shops give extra butter for the croissant. Sometimes that butter gets lost in the oven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Brianna randomly was like, y'all wanna go to a thrift store with Tell my mom? And I was like, yeah, of course. We drove about, what, half a mile down the street. When I tell you this is the cutest area, neighborhood, whatever, and then the thrift store itself is so cool. I've never seen a thrift store with this much stuff in it. Backyard again. The original I see. Yes, 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 yes. 